Listen, man, we're gonna show Max Kellerman some dollar. love today. The great Max Kellerman. I let you talk, zip it. The oh fact that oh the 80s, if this were the 80s and the three <laughs> point shot, didn't matter as much. I got you. It right. matters a lot in today's three game. Better, Kevin Durant, excuse me, if you look at the system and the way this goes down, you can have guys that are sitting up there outside every now and then they're gonna take it. The bottom line is Kevin Durant is a better pure shooter than Kawhi. He's a better pure shooter yeah. than yeah. AD. Oh, the Greek freak ain't <laughs> even a part of the discussion. And the only reason Steph Curry's in a conversation is because he's the greatest shooter we've ever seen. Not when was the last time KD was top five for a less pod? No. No, Chad! Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Every time, bro. I don't miss these videos. I don't. I don't miss them. Oh my lord, bro! Now KD wasn't top five. I'm just asking, what was the last ago. time he was top five? But when was you it? Said, you said he was the best player on earth in 2021. Okay, so damn, that's the answer then, right? 2021. So what? There's there's not an entire season in the middle of that. Nope. Was he top five? No, he's not top five. It's cool, bro. It's cool. It's fine. <laughs> oh my because he's six because he's six like it's fine to me you have an argument for this year but you know how this goes what's the difference between five and six nothing oh my lord nothing. so 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 why are you bringing this up then if, if it's not a big difference than five and six why are you bringing this up i don't because it's the prop bro it's coming around a top five <laughs> nba player bro he's debatably top five right now I, whether you wins or loses the debate comment below is katie top five he's debatably in that conversation right now like he's debatably five right now not gonna act like he's one he's not one though those days it did but the last time when was he arguably the best player in the world 2021 by your logic exactly stop stop playing with height seven foot weight 215 <laughs> King of the DMV. <laughs> Stop playing with him, man. Weight 215 is crazy, man. <laughs> I don't know how much that nigga weighs. I'm You're not talking about the subject. The hold on, hold on. I don't, we don't game. know what the subject is because the fact of the matter is I'll let you talk. I didn't say a word. Oh, my not God. Not a word. I actually sat not here. Word. I actually sat here but and listened to your flagrant ignorance. The reality oh, is Kevin hard. Durant is <laughs> one. Uh, Kevin Durant, not a top five player. But you Kevin can, Durant, you not a top five player. From the mountain I apologize. Top. Let's Kevin Durant, go. Hold on, hold on. Let me, hold on. Let me, wait, let me. I'm whispering. Player. I'm whispering. Kevin Durant's not a top five. I just, I just finished doing it. Go, 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 go
on with him. Is what are you watching? Far more unstoppable. What, what are you watching? Offensive far player. More unf- far, far more unstoppable. That's far a joke. Far more. That's a joke. Is offensive far more. player. I, I, excuse me, I didn't stutter. Not just shooting. I didn't oh, stutter. Oh, just scoring. <laughs> you didn't ask me about a jab or a body shot. You asked me about a jump shot. You asked me about basketball. No, oh, Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something right now. Kevin Durant is six eleven. Who Talk. can pull up from 40? Okay. This brother okay. is on that level. I'm talking about offensively. Now, Kevin, now, Kevin, if you want to tell me that LeBron James, from a physical, he's big and he's unstoppable because no, no. he can get to the no, basket no, no. anytime he wants to. Skill. Yeah. Kevin six, Durant. 6'11 six, six, and so he you, can so shoot you're, from three. You're asking me. You're, ask, you're acting like Kevin Durant ain't even in the conversation. LeBron doesn't have the offensive skills that Kevin Durant has. Uh, offen- incorrect. Kevin Durant doesn't have the <laughs> offensive <laughs> skills that LeBron has. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, oh, man. Incorrect, buddy. Incorrect. Oh, man. <laughs> you thought you cooked? Incorrect. He losing this one, man. Look, if you think Stephen A is right, that's fine. But another reason why I think they split, it, Max kind of like a good bump. Nowadays, and even in the past with Skip, it was always somebody that was just so outrageous that you were like, okay, Stephen A, you could be wrong, but holy fuck, just doubt us down. This is just straight up, in terms of a debate, Max is crushing it right now. All right, Max is beating his ass. All Stephen A has said is, do you know who Kevin Durant is? And Max is like, yeah, that's fine. But like all, the, all of that does not matter. <laughs> like all, all of what you're saying is cool at best. All these other things LeBron does, you're not obje- addressing those things. You're just telling me that he's 6'11 and can shoot. That's cool. But I just remember like a lot of discourse on Twitter about like JJ Reddick cooking the fuck out of Stephen A. And if I remember correctly, Stephen A was getting a, a defensive in that situation as well. I don't think he likes being put in that position, deadass. There's ego involved, which is fine. I feel like we all have ego to a certain degree. Oh, yes, we do. You know, I just feel like with other comments Stephen A has, has made, which we'll dive into a little bit in this video, it's just it's hypocritical, man. I ain't gonna lie. This is not about showing up to the game high. No one is saying the players should be high when they play. That's Duh. not what I'm Whoever saying even either. Said that. I'm saying they because will. They, they are, will. They'd have the be, right to. Because there are examples of players who've shown up high, that's a reason to outlaw recreational use on someone's own time. It's absurd on its face. Many no. baseball players have Yo, shown up. World Series games. You said your own time. Have, no, answer that. World, you said your own time. What do yeah. you mean your right. own time? Be specific. Be specific. When what do you mean you're not playing awesome. the game? Not <laughs> talking about like that. You can't show up high. You can't show up high. But after the game, what you go off and do is your business. Now, many pitchers throw like David Wells came straight from the bar, drunk, pitched a perfect game. He should be I'm allowed sure to. I'm against of, that too. Of course, but that doesn't mean that you say they can't drink alcohol <laughs> on their own time. Yeah, Particularly a league there. that is in bed with companies that peddle alcoholic beverages, it is absurd if that's the standard that especially once marijuana is legalized to set if the bar is alcohol, marijuana passes that threshold. Every credible peer-reviewed study ever done will Ridiculous. tell you alcohol is worse society <laughs> than for the individual. Blasphemous. I remember when Stephen A used to use the big words. I need him to use them big words, man. Again, Preposterous. Blasphemous. That type of shit, man. God, get in your bag, man. Get in your bag. I need Skip to start that shit, too. I need Skip to bring back the ass a 9, that's a 10, that's 11, that's a 12. Bring them back, man. Nostalgia glasses. I don't give a fuck. Bring them shit back. When it comes to this situation, though, at least for me personally, the connotation with weed was just always weird to me because, like, alcohol is right there. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same, but the idea of taking this thing that'll make you under the influence and, like, allow you to lose control for a extended period of time is the same on both regards so the public perception between uh both of those two substances is just so fucking weird to me i ain't gonna lie i think it should just be consistent you should just be consistent with both regards like if you if you don't fuck with alcohol you shouldn't fuck with weed if you don't fuck with weed you shouldn't fuck with alcohol but as a nigga as a nigga who has literal drinking games all over his channel we even did one on the on the sns channel dog that shit it's just subjectively worse. I'm, I'll I'll be the one to push that bar for niggas and get them mad. That this is objectively worse than weed. This is one of the deeper rooted reasons why I think that Stephen A. and Max wasn't going to work out. Um, if the clip is here, we'll um, react to it as well. When it came to those real wokey political conversations, shit like this, it it went from 50-50 to 100-0 consistently. Max, they weren't even out debating. He just schooled your ass. Like, here, here we are talking about the shit. Ideally... The standards should be the same. And if the bar is you can do alcohol, but you can't do weed, that just, 
That just logically, there's no statistic, there's no record, there's no personal recommendation even that just that justifies it. And as you see, if we get to a Colin Kaepernick topic, it's going to get worse. <laughs> it's going to get worse. It certainly is no better than weed. In fact, it's usually worse, according to every study ever done. So well, no, the fact study, that study, Stern, studies. Study, study, well, study. I mean, no way. Have you, been, have, you been, have, 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 you, have you been inside a locker room? Have you been courtside and seen some of these dudes? I'm yes. telling you right now, Max. Yes. Here's what I'm telling you. Well, whatever. Here's what, what I'm telling fuck? you as a fact. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you this. If you can do it recreationally without any repercussions, they will show up to the game that way. Some you will. Can some book will. It. And they should you be, can book And they it. should be penalized on a case-by-case basis. Basis, oh, what obviously. Do you mean penalized? What's shocking to me, the prohibition against marijuana is based almost exclusively on a government propaganda campaign. Yep. Oh, that was stop it. You would not. not. That's a not it's not it's not I'm talking not. reality. I'm talking about I'm dudes showing up to the game. No, no, no. I've seen it. I am it. talking reality. Right now. I am addressing We're going to take a quick break and get back to it. Blood is yeah, spinning right now, man. Why even bother listening? Now, yeah, right no. now, Mom, Joe go Schmo. Let's go to break. Go, to break. go ahead. But you nah. see the energy chat, though? Like, it's different. It's different. He literally just don't want to hear what he got to say, and he'll always try to G-check him with the gatekeep shit that we keep telling you is stupid. He'll G-check him with the, have you been in the locker rooms? And the whole time, Max's like, yeah, nigga. Like, again, I think Stephen A just forgets Max is a, like, S-tier boxing analyst. And not only that, I know he wasn't the journalist that you were, but damn it. He, he he's dibbled and dabbled. He's been in the locker rooms. He's been a reporter. He like how do you think he got on first take? And then as I mentioned earlier, and granted it wasn't a Kaepernick uh, clip, but bro, that, what what Max was saying at the end, just fucking true. I mean, in my opinion, at least, it's just fucking true. Like the perception of weed has always been by design altered. And I'm not I'm not a smoker saying this. Assholes, I really don't. I do don't it smoke like that. either for yeah, different yeah, reasons. Like, but like, yeah, no, this is this is not your uh, smoke the pot, man, ass dude. No, it's n it's none of that shit bro it's just a matter of like nigga if you really knew ball yes there's some niggas that can't handle their weed but then there's way more examples of niggas who literally prefer to get high before a game because it helps them calm down or it straight up just helps them in general i don't know why the fuck they think it does but it just does bro so i, I don't get that shit at all yo i really don't let's get to the meat and potatoes because hey i'm gonna be honest for the people who have been keeping up with the news at the time of this recording the reason why max kellerman and Stephen A. Smith and First Take have been around in the news cycles because Stephen A. Smith went on the Joe Budden podcast and Joe Budden asked him, what do you have to say about the fallout between you and Max Kellerman? Mad respect from him from the standpoint that white dude, highly intelligent, Ivy League educated from Columbia, smart as a whip, can talk his ass off, can talk about anything. And I get all of that. But you weren't an athlete and you weren't a journalist. And the, the absence of the two components left people wondering, why should we listen to you? He also said within the, the segment of the podcast that he essentially set an ultimatum to the, to the upper management of ESPN. If he's that important to you, give him first take. And ESPN folded. They're like, all right, I mean, at the end of the day, hey, first take is Stephen A. Smith's show. He is the face of, e of, of this show, arguably the face of ESPN, hey. He has leverage. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird because looking back, a lot of it just does not make sense to me. Whenever Stephen A gets called out about his take, specifically by athletes, he gets very defensive. Very defensive, Chad. I, I don't know if y'all have seen some of the, even recently when Lonzo Ball called him out for his fake sources. I've heard that it's even hard for him to get up from a sit sitting position. Stephen A, who are your sources, bro? Please, please tell me who your sources are. Come on, man. And then Stephen A goes on his show talking about, I know your doctors. <laughs> okay? Don't let me get the dirt out on your doctors, buddy. Which, by the way, is like violating HIPAA. By the way, like, what, <laughs> what the fuck? But in other situations as well, Terrell Owens called him out within this whole situation as well, and Stephen A pulled the same card. You mentioned, obviously, Max is going to get in here, and like I said, I'm in the streets. Max almost seems blacker than you, Stephen A, <laughs> with, 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 with what he, with, with he's Time coming. Out. Even on the same podcast, he said the same thing about Disney, the company. He was talking about how, hey, I ain't going to lie, if there's one dude that knows the dirty skeletons of Disney, it's the dude that's worked them for, for them uh, for 30 years, and that's why I have leverage in the company. What the fuck is going on? That shit is just weird to me, number one. But then number two, if your defense 
And you get hella defensive when people pull that gatekeeping sh- uh, card on you. Yo, Stephen A., you've never been an athlete. You've never been an NBA player. You've never been an NFL athlete. You know, what the fuck do you know about the sport? And this is your defense, number one. And the fact that you get defensive. I find it hella hypocritical for you on your own show. When it was time to make a decision between letting this guy go, which I know even even him letting go of Max Kellerman, he doesn't believe he was fired. But in actuality, let's keep it a bean. I believe he was fired. They're just, they just want to to play semantics with it you want to gatekeep you want to gatekeep i've never i've never heard someone say the reason why first take is falling off is because max kellerman specifically doesn't have a journalism degree and isn't an athlete because let's keep it a bean that's not why we watch first take it is for entertainment it is for fiery debates honestly it doesn't really matter who the fuck is on the screen I just feel like Stephen A. Smith, from an outside perspective, is capping about this whole situation. The reason why you wanted to let Max go, the reason why you set that ultimatum, was because, number one, you ultimately didn't fuck with dude like that. And number two, he wasn't pulling the numbers that you thought you could pull with someone else. He mentioned that Max is a white dude a lot. And I'm not trying to... Look, man, I, I'm 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 a, I'm a Negro with a do-rag on right now. <laughs> type shit. I'm black. I'm black, bro. I'm not... not caping for no extra shit like that i already know how y'all get down in them comments but what i'm saying is you have your drive your uh drive and vision of wanting like all black coast on the shit and that's dope that's fire that's what's up but i don't know what it is about like why because bro white that you don't validate his shit and maybe that's nasty nasty of a reach but then at that point it's disconnecting at that point it's a disconnect between you and your audience because i don't know if you think we think you're credible because you're some s-tier journalist no nigga we we think some of these niggas don't think you're credible at all but (laughs) either way you're entertaining as fuck you definitely know something about the game you definitely watch the game and i'll be blunt even though a lot of you ain't looking too good right now in a lot of people's minds people for the most part still respect what you have to say on television so it was never never about when it comes to Max Kellerman. It was never about, yo, bro, who is this? Who this? Who this little white boy talking about sport? It, it never was that. Right, rest in peace to Unk, bro. We used to sit there, watch first tape. We I didn't even go up because he lived in out of state. So we didn't even watch it daily. But anytime we was there and I stayed overnight, we woke up, watch first take and we literally used to think and predict who's going to win the argument who we agree and during the commercials we'd argue even past that time bro it, it was it was fun seeing someone actually challenge back and forth versus skip and we personally believe the show got better because no, all respect to skip skip was essentially just the hot take guy the same way that nowadays russo is the hot take guy michael irving was the hot take guy all all, all the motherfuckers that you see nowadays outside of shane and sharp because he's new addition typically just the hot take guy or the guy with a body that you know coming into it so like ryan clark all respect to you my boy because what the fuck i'm not i'm a steelers fan i ain't gonna say nothing negative about ryan clark but ryan clark talking football from a defensive player's perspective from a safety's perspective and let alone 90 a good amount of times he's talking about the steelers it's like oh we know what ryan clark's gonna say here so it but in it's just it's just disappointing when you hear why max got cut because ultimately at the end of the day niggas is bullshitting just say you didn't like him. Just, just say yeah. he was. Just, just say you didn't like the motherfucker. Just say it's because I ain't gonna lie. You couldn't take the. You couldn't take the credit. You took. Couldn't take his opinion seriously. You couldn't take his opinion seriously. Just say that, dog. I'm not. I'm not trying to g check Stephen A. Because I know he gonna have some dirt on me or so, some way, shape, or form. Apparently, he's gonna have some dirt on me and I get me packed up. I'm not trying to get cooked on no pod. I, I ain't. I ain't here for none of that. I'm just saying in general, bro. That I ain't like the way he moved in this situation at all I, I ain't like that eating a little bit bro An- another point of the hypocrisy is literally last year he had kenny kenny beecham on first take yeah kenny beecham on first take bigging him up really giving him his props and shout out to kenny that ass because I-, I think this is giving him more credit Stephen a didn't have a problem having this content creator with no formal jor- journalism background on his show wasn't a former athlete on his show but ultimately because of the fact that he's up and coming and he has pull and he's trying to get you know more in touch and, and, and tapped into to social media hey let's have kenny on man it's not gonna be the first time he's back you know what i'm saying it's not gonna be the only time he's on and i feel like in this scenario if the ratings were not getting stagnant and they kept on pushing up Stephen a wouldn't have even let go or you know th- this whole situation wouldn't have even happened at the end of the day this was a money issue or again 
You just didn't fuck with bro. Don't try to even, like, because he was trying to pull it off, bro. He was low-key trying to gaslight the audience. And we're just responding to the audience, man. You know, we, we see we see the numbers. Y'all don't fuck with Max, bro. <laughs> so we have to let go of Max. Relax. Last thing I say, man, is when it came to, because uh, obviously I brought up cap clips earlier. and We don't have to roll any. Honestly, do your research on if you think I'm cap. Hell, just go on Twitter if you think I'm cap. There's hella segments that were pulled up in regards to Max Kellerman talking about black community related issues, black topics, black social injustices, things like that. That Because wild shit has happened during the years. And ESPN has definitely done a good job, in my opinion, of saying, yo, we're taking a break from sports because this is fucked up. And on in those segments look i think the comment was fucked up straight up wrong i don't even agree with it but let's just say there's a reason why a motherfucker like terrell owens came on there and sometimes he's been blacker than you i think that's way over the line i'm actually 100 percent on Stephen a's side there that's not fucking cool dog especially like come on bro that's not cool but Max Kellerman was highly educated in those topics. I'm not even saying Stephen A. wasn't, but it looked like there was a clear difference in education there. And I know he ain't rock with that. And I, I go one step further. I know the second T.O. said that shit, that's when it was cooked. In my personal opinion, you're talking about raising and shit, and that's fine. That might be true. I knew it was cooked at that moment in time. I was like, yeah, he, he on the clock. He on the clock, and I guarantee you the next nigga gonna be black. <laughs> that, that's over. <laughs> that is over with. I knew that shit, bro. I feel it, man. You know. I, I say this about the entertainment industry, too. Doing something for 10 years, for the most part, is unreasonable for a majority of entertainers out there, bro. Even as content creators, bro. And maybe this is breaking the fourth wall. I don't expect to be doing Souls and Sage for 15 years. I, I <laughs> 15 to, like, that's just, it's unreasonable, man, you know? That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt him. Yeah, that that is gonna hurt them. But yeah, it's just it's just the content creator life cycle. At the end of the day, these are just old school content creators. And when it comes to the entertainment industry, shit goes through phases, man. And decisions have to be made. Shout out Max Kellerman, man. Shout out Max Kellerman for I I think he was he he crawled so JJ Reddick could fucking sprint. Mm. I, I shout out to him for introducing the advanced stats to to the shit. I'm mad we didn't find a clip where Max Kellerman read off some numbers. Not saying that I'm exactly on that stat shit. I ain't gonna lie. Day by day, I'm turning into hey bro. You gotta watch the fucking game. I'm turning <laughs> into the Stephen A. Ball don't stop ass nigga. But hey, bro, shout shout out to him for introducing that. I don't know why he thinks that people prefer the barbershop vibe. We just want a good basketball debate. That's or a good good sports debate. That's all we want. With that being said, we'll catch you on the next one, man. Peace out. Peace.